Now in today's video, I am going to be showing you exactly why it is never in your best interest to ever build an attachment with a woman. The second that a woman that you're dating knows that you have built an attachment, okay, you are about to build an emotional attachment or you're seeking her validation or her approval, what will happen is she will exit. This video that I put together for you is a step-by-step -step guide to make sure that that never happens. Now, after today's video is over, what I want you to do is I want you to go down below, you click the link in the description, okay, and you check out the full-length MBT Masculine Behavioral Technique webinar presentation that I put together for you. Because inside of that, what you're going to see is you're going to see specific ways that you can take some of the principles and some of the strategies that we learned in today's video. And inside of that webinar presentation down below in the description, we take these even a step further. So that way you can get results at an even quicker pace. Let's dive in. Now I'm going to be showing you step by step why you need to never build an attachment to a woman. And what this all boils down to in the beginning is that a woman needs to love and admire the guy that she's dating more than he loves or admires her. Now some of you, you maybe will hear that and you think, well that's cruel, that's not how it's supposed to be, right? It should be equal where we both have mutual you know, feelings of chemistry, but in practicality in the real world, that's not how it works and here's why. The second that she senses he's more invested than she is, she exits, okay? And she exits because she feels that she can do better. The second she feels that she can do better is the second that she's going to try to actually exercise those options to prove herself right. So what you need to understand is men don't lose attraction when a woman is head over heels in love with them, but women do. Like, chew on that for a second. Men do not lose attraction when a woman is head over heels in love with them. Women do, okay? If a guy sees that he has 10 unopened text messages from a girl, five missed calls, right? A, a kiss emoji that she blows him every two seconds, right? He sees that she has sky high interest, like he, he's, he's happy as can be. Women don't operate like that. The second that he reveals his high interest is the second that she pulls back hers. So being in love, when a man is in love with a woman, this makes him weak. And it makes the guy weak because now he's more passive. He starts to become more agreeable because he's worried to rock the boat. He doesn't want to upset her emotionally. So he's more passive. He becomes more agreeable. And then all of a sudden what he also does is he now puts her happiness first. Well, when he puts her happiness first, she exits and then he's crushed. So take this basic principle that a woman needs to love or admire the guy that she's with more than he loves and admires her. You take that base principle and now we move it over to the second column. Now what you're going to notice is that when a man gets attached to a woman, what a woman always says, the, the, the woman who always notices that her boyfriend is attached or the woman who notices that the guy that she's been dating is attached, she always says this exact thing. She always says something along the lines of, he's always trying to initiate touch. You have to understand that this constant need to initiate touch reveals your high interest. And most guys, like most men deep down, don't even know, they don't even understand that to a woman this signals weakness. They have no idea. To them, they're just like, well, hey, I'm interested in her, I'm attracted to her, right? I want to initiate touch, I want to initiate physical contact, right? I think she's pretty or whatever the case may be. So they basically just do basic shit that their brain tells them, hey, that's normal or hey, that's okay. But to a woman, this signals weakness in every way, shape and form. So the constant touching, the constant hand holding, trying to kiss, trying to make out, trying to cuddle, always initiating sex or always trying to make out with her. When this happens, Here's, here's what it registers in her brain. She thinks you're now weak for her beauty. If you're weak for her beauty, okay, she senses that you're probably going weak emotionally. If she senses that you're going weak emotionally, now you can't protect her, and now you're like a softer version of your former self. So what's happened when you initiate this touch or you initiate this physical contact is you've now revealed your high interest. As you reveal your high interest, she pulls back her interest. So the constant touch to a woman signals attachment. To a woman, this actually signals attachment more than even like calling or setting up a lot of dates or being consistent with behavior. The fact that there's constant physical contact or initiation of physical contact, that right there is going to start to turn the woman off. Now this signals weakness for her beauty and now you're indulging in pleasures and your feelings, 
So what it signals in her head is she goes, hey, well, this guy's pleasures, this guy's shallow pleasures, this guy's lust, this guy's feelings, this guy's emotion, this is what's running him. And now she goes, well, he's weak and I don't want him. And now she's turned off. So these are the signs that you've built an emotional attachment. Step by step, you're going to notice one of three things or all three of these things have been happening or are about to happen. If you've been dating a woman for an extended period of time, the very first thing that you're going to notice and that she will notice is that all of your excess free time, you start to want to spend with her. Okay, this is the first. When the guy has any time off of work, when the guy has any downtime, when the guy, like you're, you're gonna notice guys start skipping the gym, they start skipping going out with friends, right? They're not as active as they used to be. All excess free time you attempt to spend with her. Okay, this is the first. The second thing that you're going to notice is the guy's constantly and consistently engaging in sex or in pleasure. Okay, once again, if you're constantly engaging in pleasure, that weakness to touch, that weakness to lust, this right here is going to be a turnoff. She's going to sense that clinginess. She's like, hey, he's needy, he needs me, he's addicted to my beauty, he's attached to my beauty. This guy's going weak for me. Okay, like one of, the, one of the strongest things that a woman looks at, one of the ways you signal to hypergamy that you are the strongest fit, if a woman is wanting to have sex with you, like, and has high interests, and she wants you so bad, a man that's able to sit there and tell her no, like this is 100% going to turn her on. And you gotta understand how a woman's brain operates. A woman's brain operates by only wanting the best that she can get. Which means most guys are fearful of doing this because they say, well, hey, if I don't sleep with her, a different guy's going to. This isn't how it works. When a man is actually able to do this and you put your lust on the back burner or you do not indulge and you do not engage in pleasure to a woman this signals strength. She's like, okay, he can protect me, right? He doesn't fall to his shallow pleasures. He doesn't constantly need to be stimulated. So the third thing that you're going to notice is the man starts seeking reciprocal interests. This is the third way you're going to know if you built an emotional attachment. You're like, I blew her a kiss emoji on text. Am I gonna get one back? I said good morning to her first today. Is she gonna say good morning to me first tomorrow? I said I love you first when we hung up on the cell phone uh, today. Is she gonna say I love you next step? Like that reciprocal interest, thinking that it's supposed to be equal, that reciprocal interest, assuming that if you give 50%, she's gonna give 50%. In no way, shape, or form do relationships ever operate that way. These are the three biggest signs that you've built an emotional attachment. Now, women need space, okay? This is the biggest thing that guys have to learn, okay? Because what you're told as you're like, when, okay, when you're, when you're a kid, or when you're in high school even, let's say you're in high school, a guy gets his first girlfriend. If he goes out on a date with her, what's the first thing like the, that the guys ask the next day? They say, well, did you kiss her? Did you even kiss her? If the guy says no, they go, oh, pansy ass, you're too scared to make a move, okay? So from day one, the guy, like the man has been conditioned that if he doesn't initiate a kiss, if he doesn't initiate touch, if he doesn't attempt to seduce her, he's weak. So guys assume that they show big balls if they show that they're willing to make a move. This typically is not how it goes because what happens is you've now revealed your interest level. You've revealed that you have high interest. You've revealed that you feel that she's beautiful. If you can sit back on these dates and you can chill, if you don't feel like you need to make a move, like if you look at yourself as high enough value that your presence alone, just you being there on that date, like you're a high enough value guy that just her receiving your time is enough to where her panties are going to get wet and she's gonna be attracted to you. That right there is the mindset and the attitude that you need. So the, the hardest thing for guys to understand is that women need space. If you live with a woman, she needs her space and her time apart oftentimes. Like you have to go out with friends, you have to go do other things. The fastest way to crush a woman's desire that she has for you is to sit right in front of her, cuddled up on the couch every single day and assume that everything is going to be consistent and stable. The more time that you spend right there in front of her, she knows where you stand, you're no longer a mystery, you're no longer a chase, you're, you, she no longer has to pursue you and all of a sudden she falls out of love with you. So women need space, okay? When you're on the couch, sit away a couple feet. When she wants to snuggle up or initiate physical contact, she will come to you, okay? 
That's the biggest thing men have to understand. And it's, it's, it's almost something you have to almost like recondition your brain to realizing that a lot of the things you believed were true about dating and about relationships are actually false. So when a woman senses this emotional attachment, what truly happened is you've lost the frame. You've now entered her world. Okay. As you've entered her world, your emotions are dictated by her actions as your emotions are now dictated by her actions. You're going to notice that she's now the one actually leading you. You're no longer leading the relationship. Now what this boils down down to is you got to always remember that women want men who do not want them back. This is the ultimate signal of high value. Women want men who do not want them back. She's looking at his interest level. That's why they are interest tests. She's looking at, at the fact of how sold is this guy on me? Women want men who do not want them back. And when you look at this at a deep level, sex and get having sex with a woman, not only does this oftentimes make men attached. Okay. Sex in and of itself is validation. Think about this for a second. You're giving and she's receiving sex is validation. You are validating that woman when you're sleeping with her, you're giving and she's receiving. If you're sleeping with her, okay, you got to think about this. You're giving your pipe. Okay. Giving your pipe tells her, Hey, you're good enough. You're hot enough. You're attractive enough. And truly that is the highest form of validation that you can give a woman that right there is able to procreate and make new life that right there is able to build a bond and a connection with a woman. Like that's like the highest level of like intimacy that a woman ever views with a man. So men oftentimes don't value their sex enough. Like you think that that's a prize that you won over. You forget to look at it and realize that it's actually a prize she won over because you're the one giving it. She is slowly gaining power over you. It's like you're now dependent on that touch. You're dependent on that intimacy. You're dependent on that need for sex to gain validation. These are the ways that women will slowly start to emasculate you. And this is why it is never in your best interest to build an attachment with a woman. The second that you become attached to a woman is the second that that woman becomes detached from you. So here's the keys to remember at all times, since women need their space in order to fall in love, you need to limit the time spent. If a woman only gets an hour or two a week out of your time or out of your day that day, when you guys are spending time together, she's going to want to come with her best behavior. She's going to want to make sure that she's sweet to be around and then she's going to be feminine. That's what you want. Okay. So the first key you got to remember is you need to limit the time spent. The more you're consistently around a specific woman or a girl that you're dating, Oftentimes her interest level will drop. Her behavior will become worse and she's going to become disinterested. That's number one. Number two, limit validation. Sex is validation. Sex is oftentimes the thing that will make men weak to touch or weak to beauty. So when you limit validation, you restrict this. This is good. Okay. This is why things like over validating, over pursuing, over complimenting, all of those validations add up to where then she starts to question your value. And she goes, well, how much better could I get? Is there a better guy out there? Not just better and who will treat me better, but better as in higher value. Okay. This is why I started off this column with the fact that you need to remember that women want men who do not want them back. Take this a step further. Never be controlled by your pleasures. If you're a guy who you're not controlled by your pleasures, think about that for a second. Think how deep that goes. If you're not controlled by your pleasures, such as going out and partying, drinking a lot, you can literally build a multimillion dollar business. If you're not controlled by physical touch or beauty, right? You now are a guy who actually has leverage in a relationship because you can rationally look at things and be a leader. If you're a guy who can say no to partying with like friends from the past that you might've had that are holding you back, you now actually have free time to operate and open up your schedule to where you can now include higher level friends that can push you ahead and get you further. Everything in life is impulse control. Everything in life is monitoring your pleasures. And if you can do that, you can go really, really far. You can gain those masculine traits that women gravitate towards. You can, you can gain those skill sets and those skill stacks that actually make you the masculine man that you want to be. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.